Viktor Frankl was a Holocaust survivor, survivor. And he used to travel, and he would speak about how he survived the horrors of the Holocaust. And as he would speak to the crowds, he would say to them, you're the reason that I'm alive. You're the reason I'm alive. And people that had never met Viktor Frankl would look at him and say, what in the world are you saying that we're the reason that you're alive? And he responded and would go on to explain that every day in the Holocaust, in the prisoner of war camp, he would dream of standing before crowds and telling them how it was that he survived. And day after day, he would watch his comrades lose their hope and the next day die. And he came to that reality where there is no vision. People perish. He had to discipline his mind to think about it and to envision life beyond the horrors of the Holocaust. So don't be discouraged. Not everyone sees or understands your dream. It's part of, it's part of that God presence in you when you recognize the goodness of God. You know, sometimes I, we get caught up and we start talking about the, the need for preaching hellfire and damnation. But the Apostle Paul makes it very clear in Romans. That it is the goodness of God that calls people to repentance. It's knowing that God's a good God. It's knowing that he desires the very best. It's knowing that Jesus came that you would have life and have it more abundantly. And if you choose not to embrace that and you choose to walk away, then shame on you. You're just a foolish person for doing that. The goodness of God is what calls us to repentance. And it's recognizing that goodness and that potential that, that we have. I was reminded of a story, it's a cartoon that, uh, how many of you remember Peanuts? You know? Not, we're not that old yet, are we? Well, in this one Peanuts cartoon, Charlie Brown says, Lucy, look at my hands. Think of the potential in these hands. Someday these hands may heal the sick. Someday these hands may build mighty bridges. Someday these hands may change the destiny of mankind. To which Lucy responded, Charlie, your hands have jelly on them. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, growing up, I had a couple of posters on the wall. One of them was a paraphrase of George Bernard Shaw, made popular by Robert Kennedy. And the words were simply this, some men see things as they are and ask why. I dream things that never were and ask why not. And one of the other posters was a, by, a quote by L. Cardinal Sewing, happy are those who dream dreams and are willing to pay the price to make them come true.